ETV's science and tech specialist Dan Riskin joins me now from Toronto with more on this. So, Dan, this is really big news this morning from Pfizer. What's your take? Well, you know what? It's great news. It's uh, it's it's hope. It, a lot of people are looking for hope, uh, and and this is exactly what we want to see. This is a, a candidate. You know, they were saying if something could give fifty percent efficacy, if something was it was hitting that fifty percent mark, that was going to be good enough to move forward with happiness. This is hitting a ninety percent mark. So this this drug. Uh, according to the press release, and they haven't released the science yet, but there's no reason to think that they're lying or anything like that. Uh, we just want to see the science first. But but right now, what we're seeing is really, really promising. But I think in terms of how we should process this, we're in a house that's on fire right now, and they've just designed a really good fire truck. So the fire truck will get here. But in the meantime, we need to put out the fire. And so what's happening in Ontario right now, and what's happening across Canada with the really high numbers is very scary. And this vaccine is not going to be here fast enough to get us out of that mess in the short term. So we still need to stay the course. We still need to be social distancing. But this is something that gives us hope so that when we buckle down, we know it's not going to be forever. What are some of the questions that you have about this vaccine? Well, the big question, and, and really there's no way to, to get to this, is what are the long-term effects of this? And so the, the drug company has said what they want to do is have people who have received their, their uh, immunizations and then look at them for two full months before they, they say that there are no bad side effects. Right now, things look great, but they want to make sure that they get at least two months of time where people don't show any kind of symptoms uh, so that they can say that this is a safe drug to do. In a perfect world, We'd wait a year and make sure that there's nothing bad in a year, but nobody wants to wait another year before we can all have a crack at this. So the timeline for that would have that completed the third week of November. And so this is a very fast timeline. Whether we're going to see something as soon as uh, Christmas or, or early in the new year, that uh, that's kind of the fastest possible timeline. But that's not as unreasonable as it seemed, even just with the, with the way the news looked even a week ago. So what is next then? for the trials well so yeah what they've done so far they, they've given basically the way it's worked is there are a whole bunch of people signed up for this in the states in germany in argentina in brazil all over the place and half the people have gotten a placebo and half the people have gotten the real drug and nobody knows including the people giving the injections nobody knows who has what it's all in some database back at the mission control and what they do is they look to see who gets COVID 19 and what they found is that they have 94 cases so far and over 90 percent of those are people who got the placebo they did not get the real drug and only less than 10 percent are people who got immunized and somehow got COVID 19 anyway so we want to know if cases are more severe or less severe in people who got the immunization. And we need more people to basically catch COVID-19 so that we can really know better what the efficacy is. So they wanna get the numbers up from what 94 right now up to 164, but with the way COVID-19 is going right now, that shouldn't take very long. So we should know uh, pretty soon just how whether, whether those results hold up, but there's definitely reason for optimism today. All right, we'll take it. We will take it. Yeah.